Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Governor Newsom has signed a law that California has to have gender neutral toy aisles. Now. Well, yeah, it's sections. 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 And so, what's really funny to me, though, real quick, is when you read the articles, which we're going to read in a moment. Uh, the things they keep bringing up are clothing, but the clothing is the one thing that isn't it isn't applied to. Yeah, so this is in it's very you know specific the kinds of uh, uh, um, retailers that need to abide by this law, but it is kind of stupid because it's, stupid. it's it's like we've got the government telling retailers what kind or how they should uh, approach stocking their own shelves right you know which we're going to talk about this more but first before we get into it any further before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys over 236,000 subs thank you for Ooh, the support sorry Oh, you're a little. I forgot my woohoo. I'm Don't sorry. Don't your woohoo. Oh, but I wooed. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, I spent a, a good part of my life in California before it went crazy. I don't know what's going on out Maybe there. There was a time that wasn't crazy? There was a time. Actually, California wasn't a bad place to grow up. Uh, su the suburbs in the 80s, early 90s, and then it's just lately, it's just gone batshit crazy. Uh, gender neutral batshit crazy. Gender neutral bat. Yeah, we're not, we're not uh, specifying what the gender of those those bats are. But uh, yeah, you know, this has been a thing that's been coming up again and again, making toys gender neutral. Of course, you know, they had the, the Mr. Potato Head debacle where they dropped Mr. from Potato mm -hmm. Head. Um, you know, Lego uh, pledging to make toys more gender neutral. I want to talk about that for a minute. I remember I have this one person I knew was having the biggest hissy shit fit about pink Legos and the Lego Lego friends. Oh, Lego friends. Yeah. Um, and here's my comment about that. Uh, I grew up with Legos. You grew up with Legos. Yeah. Legos, they, for years they had sets that were just, you know, boy or girl could play with them. It didn't matter. They were just neutral sets. They had them for years. Then they do Lego friends, which are pink and girly. And then they had a hissy because how dare they? Girls could just walk two steps and pick whatever Lego set they wanted in any direction. If they wanted pink and girly, they had that option. Like our daughter wanted the pink and girly sets, but if she didn't, she could have walked like literally two steps and picked up any other set that was just for everyone. Look, we're at Walmart, it's Lego Friends. And if I take one step this way, I'm into Lego City and classics. I'll go back to middle. And if you take one step this way, look, it's Minecraft and Mario and Star Wars and all that. So hard just to walk across two steps over. So here we have some some girl stuff, right? Girl stuff. And then look at look at the gender neutral sand and the slinkies and then look right across the aisle. Look at these action figures. Look, Halo, that's kind of boy. Oh my god. A woman. A woman in the boy aisle. How very dare they? And look, this 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 is clearly just for boys. Just just for boys. There's Spider-Man and LOL stuff right next to each other. And then you come over here and look, we got Discovery and build an engine next to Cotton Candy Maker, next to all kinds of makeup things, Easy Bake Ovens, all next to each other. Yeah, I mean, this and going back to, you know, the 1980s, 1990s even, like this whole pink aisle, uh, boy aisle, whatever, that is a, a pretty recent development. Yeah. Because when we were kids, there were so many toy lines that were... Everybody had them. Gender neutral. I mean, sitting here... Cabbage Patch Kids. Care Bears. Care Bears. I mean, oh my gosh, what else? There's so many. I mean, I, I was... Play I played. I played with... Uh, like I was, I played dolls with my sister and I went and played mask and transformers with my brother. I mean, no one thought anything of it. Yeah. My brother played Barbies with me sometimes. No one thought anything of it. It, it wasn't like a new thing. And a lot of retailers ha you know, do have what I'd consider a, a gender neutral section when it comes to uh, you know, board games and uh, preschool stuff. And I don't think it's about gender anymore. No. They don't even mark them boy aisle, girl aisle. They mark it by, it's by type. Yeah. Like dolls are in one aisle. Boys could shop there. Girls could shop there. But the dolls are in one section. You might have action figures. Yep. In another section, you know what? In those action figure sections, there's a bunch of female figures too. Wonder Woman, 
was in, and the figures and the dolls were in the action figure section because they were action figures. Now, I remember back in the 80s, it was kind of weird when you had, uh, you know, lines that that crossed over like Masters of the Universe and, and uh, you know, Princess of Power because they would actually cross sell those. I remember a lot of times they would have end caps that had both He-Man and yes. she on them or they would have, uh, you know, He-Man right around the corner from She-Ra. Even if He-Man was the action figure aisle and She-Ra was the doll aisle, they were close to each other. Right, because they were the same thing. Yeah. This is this is stupid. So you're so a couple of people complained, now they're going to change everything. But I can't remember the last time I've seen a store that had it marked boy aisle, girl aisle. Do you remember any of that? No, it's been a long time. You know, like the Sears catalogs and stuff used to have, uh, you know, kind of the... the they were in boys. sections. They were sections. Just like here. Like, you know, you see a lot of times that things are grouped by type. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and you know what? Here's my next thing. Some girls like pink and frilly. Are they not allowed to have that now because some some people don't like it in California? I mean, if it's you're a boy, if, you, if you're a boy who wants to go shop in the girls' aisle, go ahead. If you're a girl like me who wanted to shop in the boys' aisle... Go ahead. It doesn't matter. It's not that flipping hard. Yes, it is. We need to make laws to make people be more inclusive. You have to force people to be but more inclusive. But they already inclusive. are inclusive. It's been for years. No, it's not. We're going to declusive it so we can re inclusivitize it. That wasn't English. No, but I'm like, <laughs> this is stupid. And when you go down, it's about toys for the most part. It's about having a section separate that's non-binary, but clothing is not included in this. And the whole articles are basically about clothing, which is another thing I want to mention. My daughter buys clothing from the boys section, men's section all the damn time. So what? If a boy wants a unicorn shirt, go to the girl section and grab it. If a girl wants a dinosaur shirt, just walk the, the 10 steps across the aisle to the boys section and buy a damn dino shirt. It's really not that hard. Well, we have to have laws because people don't know what to do without laws. So we this, have to complain. We have to complain. So this is coming from, uh, uh, of course, oh God. Governor Governor Newsom. California to make retailers offer gender, gender neutral kids. Separate. Genderal? I like that word. Genderal. genderal. Oh my God, that's what we should call it now. Genderal. Genderal. Once again, Clownfish has developed a word. It's I, genderal. It just means that it's gender neutral. Genderal. I think he was one of the Inhumanoids, Genderal. Well, Genderal is like gender neutral, and it's like general. So Gen Genderal. Genderal. Genderal sections. We, we need a Genderal section. Um, I bit the side of my mouth, so I can't speak oh. English now. Do you want me to read? No, I, I'll, I'll try. It, we might get some other clownfish-isms out of this one. A new California law will require big retailers to create gender neutral departments for some toys and child care items, signaling an increasing shift away from gender labels by younger consumers. But, uh, what? Okay, if you go to the baby section, for example, the diapers for the most part, except unless they have like characters on them, it's for boys or girls. Yeah. Baby wash, boys or girls. The legislation signed by Governor Newsom over the weekend is the first of its kind in the U.S. and probably the only uh, one. By the start of 2024, retailers with 500 or more employees in the state have to maintain gender neutral sections for a reasonable a reasonable amount amount of kids. So they could have like one aisle that is just like, yeah, this is for boys or girls. But it's not that hard. You should, any parent would be able to go and, and, and determine what they think is gender neutral. <laughs> Clothing is included. Exactly. Re retailers that fail to comply may face a fine of $500. Okay. If you have 500 employees, 500 bucks is nothing. Mm -hmm. It is nothing. It's, this is all about virtue signaling. Mm -hmm. This is all like, look how progressive and diverse and inclusive we are, guys. We passed a law to make those bad, bad toy stores be more inclusive. 500 bucks? They ring that up in about two minutes. Yeah. You know, they're like, One oh, sale at Christmas fine, time. fine, Newsom. Here's your 500 bucks. Shut the hell up. Let's go back to stocking Barbies in the pink aisle over there. Because uh, a lot of them are pink. I'm sorry. And I don't think it's fair to tell the majority of kids who want the, the, the you know, pink dolls or whatever, or the boys that want, you know, certain things they want, that they're not allowed to like that because that's terrible because some kids that make up a small percentage are mostly their parents who are dumbasses and can't just, you know, walk down another aisle, want to complain. 
Uh, I was going to say Target. Even before California took the step, they said companies have been tweaking how they merchandise products for kids in 2015. Target yeah. stopped displaying gender-based I don't signs. think Walmart does either, not that I've noticed. No, I'll it does look when we go today, but I haven't seen it. More by toy type. I uh, talk about Nordstrom's, Abercrombie. As of last year, 56% of Gen Z, whose oldest members are in their early 20s, shopped outside of their gender. According to the marketing agency, Wonderman Thompson. And how much did you pay Wonderman Thompson to figure that out? <laughs> Just talk to some parents. They could have told you the same damn thing. Google searches for unisex names such as Avery and Morgan have surged since 2019. Did the people actually search unisex names or did they just search those names particularly and they're assuming it's unisex? Non-binary names uh, increased 550% in the past year on Google. That's just because it's probably what's popular. California law came into existence after Britain Sires, then nine, tried to shop for a dinosaur shirt when, st oh my God, when studying the topic at school and could only find one in the boys section, said her mother. So one person complained and they make a law. That's great. Then they push for legislation after other parents and students shared similar frustration over a fucking dinosaur okay, shirt. Okay, literally, here's what you do. You go, and the reason, they're not just divi divided by gender for that reason. It's because the way things are cut, the way kids grow might be a little bit different, and things like that. It's not just because, you know, they want to have one pink and one blue. There's more to it than that. But if you want the damn dinosaur shirt, it's not a problem. You literally walk across the aisle to the boys' section, and you buy the dinosaur shirt in a size you think that would fit, or you go try it on and buy it. If your son wants a unicorn shirt or something like that, you just walk across the girls' aisle and buy the damn unicorn shirt. It really isn't that hard. This shouldn't be a stressful situation, Danny. It's not stressful. It's like five extra steps. Kids shouldn't have a problem or feel stressed when they go shopping for a toy or for clothing. What kids feel stressed? Okay, well, okay, I'll tell you. I can't, I can't. I'll tell you a true story. Oh, my this, God. This Pander to my little Timmy. My Timmy special. I, I told you, I think I said this before. I said when I was a kid, I wanted a shear and I sent my, my female cousin to go buy it for me because yes. I was embarrassed because I want to be like caught like my friends from school being like, oh my God. But now she is with the action figures in the action figure aisle. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Not the boys um, aisle, the action figure aisle that I've seen lots of girls shopping in too. And you know what they're buying a whole shit ton of? Fortnite toys. Yeah, girls and boys. I see them in there all the damn time. Actually, actually, kids aren't even buying toys that much now. They're they're on their damn phones all the time. They have like, oh my gosh, they have like Avatar toys in there now, and they have like, um, oh, they had uh, My Hero Academia toys in that that same aisle, and there were girls buying it, just, you know, all the damn time. Anyway, sorry your your story. I didn't mean to to no, sidetrack you. I, I apologize. Just think making this a law is really fucking stupid. Like, I think, I mean, this is, this is, I would never, you could never pay me enough to move back to California at this point. I mean, I, I no, it, it's not that hard. I mean, gender neutral clothing, uh, there's a lot of options. You just, you, there's lots of options out there. There's lots of other online stores that specialize in it. It's not hard to find. I could go to any boys or girls section right now and find pieces that would be considered gender neutral. I would have no problem doing that. And my daughter buys men's shirts and t-shirts in the men's section because they often have cool anime characters, something she likes. Oh, it gets more interesting. Oh, I know. I, I read this. Uh, Democratic Assemblyman Evan Lowe, one of the law's co-authors, has previously said the bill was inspired by his staff member's eight-year-old daughter. So this Danielle Karen. Well, this was because it was a toy, but that oh. sounds like it was a shirt, according to the other story. Yeah, I had to go to the boys' section to find the toy. But you know what? Sometimes you do. We have to go to girls' or boys' section, depending on... It's not even about girls' or boys. It's where it's... What type of toy it is determines where it's located. Legos are in the whole wall of Legos. If you want things that are automotive-type toys, they're in a section. Um, sometimes they have pink cars and cars for girls and stuff, too, and that's in the, still in the same section. I'm going to tell you what. As a business owner... If, the, if it were me, and I was like, is it going to cost us a lot of extra money to reorganize our entire toy department just to make uh, Karen happy? Um, is it going to cost more than 500 bucks? I'd be like, fuck it. I'll just pay the $500 and get away. But yeah, <laughs> you know? I'm just like, I think it's going to confuse people too. Like, okay, for the, the five people that are complaining, there's, there's, we'll say, we'll be, we'll be nice. For the 5% that are complaining, there's 95% that have no problem with it. So what's going to happen is people are going to go in to try to find things, not going to be able to find anything. It's going to confuse most of your consumers and they're going to lose sales. This is dumb. It's just, it already is kind of divided by type of toy, not boy aisle, girl aisle. It's not that hard. You literally just walked out. And a lot of toy manufacturers have done things to make it easier. Like 
I know um, Easy Bake Ovens. Yeah. They yeah. actually have made them more gender neutral because there are a lot of boys who like the Easy Bake Ovens as well. And they were like, yo, that's a good point. And they've changed it. And you can find it in a section that has a lot. Usually it's in a section. It's usually around a girl's aisle. But it's a section that has like um, that kind of material. It has like crafty things, how you make things, that kind of stuff. It's all together. Um, kids toys, little infant and, child, and, and, and preschool toys, they're all lumped together. They're not divided by girl or boy usually. No. This no. is just dumb. It's like doll aisle, action figure aisle, gaming aisle. It's kind of like that now. Yeah, this is this is California. This is this is why I, I again I would never move back. So this I little girl never. likes pink fancy dolls. She's not allowed to have that anymore because five percent of kids don't like having gender pink on things. Maybe she has a machine gun with her or something. I mean, I'd buy a Barbie with a machine gun. Oh, I was like that. What was that uh, one Barbie doll that had the G.I. Joe voice chip or something? Oh, my God. They got mixed up. Yeah. That's going to be mandated next. It's going to be – they're going to tell the toy companies, you have to you have to do this. Barbie's already doing all kinds of things for different diversity things, and, and, and they're in the doll aisle. Because they put Barbie in the action figure aisle, it's going to be very confusing to consumers. I want Barbie with machine gun legs. Oh, or like sword legs, like in sword uh, legs, like in um, Kingsman. Kingsman. Yeah, I want Barbie with freaking sword legs. There sword you go. legs, Barbie. Badass sword legs, Barbie. That's what you're yeah. gonna call it. Badass Barbie. Badass Barbie. Five hundred bucks. That's all it costs you. I'd be like, yeah, piss off. Here's five hundred dollars. Who should I make the check out to? Here, oh wait, I'm gonna read this. Here's comments. This is exactly what I said. They did this in Hamleys in London about seven years ago. It was a disaster. Parents complained as they couldn't find the stuff their ki and their kids moaned at them and it took ages. Now they had floors that were color coded um, and stuff like that, but um, they changed it all back because they took it out um, because you know people complained and it was a mess. Because that's why I was saying people aren't gonna be able to find what they need because like, oh, it's a doll. It'll be in the doll aisle. Yeah. No! They're probably like, well, Barbie's over here, but then like the Disney princess dolls are over with the Hot Wheels for some reason. What yeah, the hell? Yeah, it's going to be confusing. You know? I mean, it already is. It's already Hard. set up in a way that like, okay, a lot of the aisles, they might have like, I've seen it this way too. On one side, it has stuff that skews more male and on one side of the aisle it has stuff that skews more female. So they go down the aisles and then there's both. I, I mean, it's not that hard. You just walk to a different aisle. You just walk across the walkway to the other section. It really isn't that difficult. I am sorry. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. We got to wrap this up. This is fucking yes. stupid. This is just stupid. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.